Hi everyone. So I guess this is my first little video as a rabbi. Rabbi Matthew Lyle, which still sounds totally crazy and weird to me, but it is a reality. This past Saturday night, my colleague, Hazan Aniwamas, and I were in a retreat center called the Stony Point Center, about 45 minutes north of Manhattan in New York, where we, along with our four classmates in this year's class with the JSLI program, the Jewish Spiritual Leaders Institute program, were ordained as rabbis. And it was a really, it was a really incredible ceremony. A lot of people kept asking me as I was telling them that I was going off on this trip to become ordained, to receive smicha, what was going to happen? What was it going to be like? All of these questions. They had all the same questions I had because really my classmates and I had no clue. We didn't know what to expect. Our instructors didn't really tell us what the ceremony would be like really until it was happening. And so what happened was the six of us each took our turn appearing before the Beit Deen. There were a crowd of family and friends who had assembled and made the trip, watching the whole ceremony unfold, unfold. And each one of us went, took our, took our turns going before the Beit Deen, three rabbis. The first rabbi, a rabbi who graduated with JSLI a number of years ago, and was one of our guest teachers during the year. Then the second rabbi, our lead instructor, Rabbi Stephen Blaine, the founder of this JSLI program. And then the third rabbi, um, also a graduate of JSLI, but whom we had just met for the retreat weekend. So that was our big team. We each took a turn appearing before them one by one. The first rabbi handed us a Torah. And as we felt the Torah fall onto us, he encouraged us, each of us, I assume he told everyone else the same thing he told me, to feel the weight of that Torah and let it to, to let it be a metaphor for the weight of the responsibility we were taking on our shoulders. An incredibly powerful feeling in that moment to feel this way because it was a particularly heavy Torah and to pass it back and he gave us a word of blessing. Then on to the second rabbi, Rabbi Stephen Blaine, who's coming November 3rd and 4th to Winnipeg as part of a big installation weekend at Cherry Zedek, so stay tuned. But anyway, up next, Rabbi Stephen Blaine, our lead instructor during the year, the head of this whole program. He took each one of us under night, underneath the big tallit and put his forehead on my forehead Forehead to forehead, peering into our eyes, he delivered us a very personal, soft-spoken, almost whispered message that no one else could hear underneath the blanket of this, of this talit, kind of like a chuppah almost, but right there. And at the end, he closed it with the Yivarechecha, the threefold blessing. Then we moved on to the third rabbi, who gave us an embrace, a hug, a final message, something that she had really picked up on during the time of the weekend that we had been together, kind of a final lasting thought, and then gave us our certificate, our, our diploma. It was, it was just the most powerful, in the moment, it was such a powerful and incredible experience. I, I can't even tell you. I, didn't, I wasn't feeling very much anticipation, nervousness, excitement, really anything. I was very neutral in the weekend leading up to it, but in the moment, as this was unfolding, as I watched a number of my classmates go before me, I think I was third or fourth to take my turn, it, the whole m m the moment really kind of, the value of that moment, the, the, the power of that moment really dawned on me in that instant. And I was, um, I was wearing my great-grandfather, Sam Alman, my great-grandfather's talit, which I'd never worn before, but was also the talit that uh, Heather and I were married under as a chupa. I was wearing that at talit, so it was incredible significance. This all happened on July 1st, which is the English yard site of my grandfather, Harold Pollock, who passed away in 2008, with whom I was very, very close. So these, these familial connections uh, being t literally tapped into my own family and my own Jewish family tree, my Jewish ancestry, was a, I was aware of it. Um, I had Heather in the audience making eye contact with me, which was incredibly powerful to share. And then just the words, the honesty and the beauty of the words specifically spoken by our teacher, Rabbi Stephen Blaine, who really got to know us every week with a class over the last year. And then I guess on top of it, too, to, to, to have a colleague, um, a guy I've worked with in, in Chazan Mas, and now Rabbi Anibal Mas, to go through the whole journey with me and be able to share stories throughout the year and to have him there in that moment too and for me to be able to be there supporting him it all amounted to just an unforgettable and truly moving experience after uh, leaving the third rabbi we each took a turn reciting a vow to the assembled congregation 
We each took a turn reciting the same vow, kind of like our version of the Hippocratic Oath. And I was almost moved to tears reading that vow because really the weight of that moment dawned on me in that moment. And it was something so special that I'm thrilled to share with all of you by telling you about it. But I'm just so lucky that I got to experience. It felt like the end of the first chapter of a book that's going to contain many chapters as a rabbi and a book that I'm very, very excited to write along with all of you as members of the Sherid Zedek congregation and the Winnipeg Jewish community. Um, just to end on kind of a fun note, um, we were all sitting there in this part of the room and we each took our turns. So our friend Dan Krieger, who was the first to go, when he came back from this whole experience, the Beit Dean and then reading the vow, I was on the end and he shook my hand first and he leaned in close and said, I was a rabbi before you were. <laughs> Dan, I didn't realize it was a race uh, because I'm pretty sure I feel like a winner even if I didn't get there first. Thanks so much.